Greetings to you all. Welcome to class 10, unit 5, prose, tech bloomers, book back exercise, part 4. Dear children, already we have discussed all the things except grammar. Today we will discuss grammar part, page 142. In grammar part, today we are going to study pronouns. So what is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word. or phrase that substitutes a noun or a noun phrase there are 10 types of pronouns generally used so pronoun enenaka that will substitute a noun or noun phrase noun and a pair chal name of a person place thing illa liya so and the noun ku badila use pandrathu da pronoun okay adle ethra type irukudhu 10 types okay there is a short story we'll read now read the stories of ravi and rani ravi is an intelligent boy ravi lives in a small village a chill breeze touches the skin a cool lake with swans swimming on the lake catches the eyesight ravi loves nature a lot ravi is studying in class 10 in a government school ravi loves helping others when a woman was crossing the road with heavy luggage ravi asks the women may i help you and carry the luggage and drop the luggage at home the women thanked ravi for the help so in the passage la etra vadi ravi ravi vandirukudu nu gavanichukonga next one next story rani rani is a brilliant girl rani lives in an urban area where huge buildings touch the sky buzzing noise of traffic hit the ears and crowds move busily towards work one day when rani was on the way to school rani saw a dog hurt by a moving scooter at once rani went near the dog lifted the dog and rushed to a veterinary doctor the dog after recovering shook the tail to thank rani fine children all right a section write the words that can replace ravi rani women luggage and dog when we use them for a second and subsequent times in the passage adavad boy kala nam enna panikala he use panikala ravi is an intelligent boy but ravi lives in a small village thevilla he lives in a small village solla seriya similarly rani is a brilliant girl rani lives in an urban area but rani ku bela she lives edikala so boys ku he girls ku she poruluku it ana maari okay so the words are called as pronoun puridai po okay so now only we studied there are 10 types of pronouns right so in the pronoun la etna type irukudhu 10 types so let us see one by one personal pronoun interrogative pronoun distributive pronoun reflexive pronoun reciprocal pronoun relative pronoun demonstrative pronoun indefinite pronoun emphatic pronoun exclamatory pronoun for right side lerndu varom personal pronoun apnaka a pronoun that indicates a person or a person indicate pandrathu personal pronoun for example he she it we you they the la seriya next one interrogative pronoun it means question which asks a question is called as interrogative pronoun adenalla which who whom indha mari enna kelviya nalum paravalla next one distributive pronoun adenadakum which distributes a group or a pair for example each every either neither anyone none idal distribution pronoun next one reflexive pronoun so which reflects the action towards the subjects used after a verb adha self nu varadellame reflexive nu namakku vechukonga seriya herself yourself himself ourself adalla next one reciprocal pronoun it means which shows relation with one another one another each other in the mari varadukku reciprocal next one relative pronoun which shows relation adha connection mari varum parunga which this is the book which mari which whom who sanna mar is demonstrative demonstrative epey me this that this those the ad palikarathile padichitom which demonstrates a noun an object 
a compliment this that these those next one indefinite pronoun which is indefinite adavad correct a define panna mudiyala evlo nu all some one many few somebody nobody next one emphatic pronoun which is used for emphasis before the verb for example myself himself herself next one exclamatory pronoun which expresses surprise or sudden feeling what and the mari varadhukku exclamatory pronoun okay children so moving on to section b fill in the gaps with personal pronoun so ipo thana padichirukom personal pronoun adella he she it we you they and the other illa seriya all right kumaravel lives in tiruvannamalai he is a doctor all the people like dash all the people like him because of dash because of his helping nature dash hospital his hospital is located at car street and most of dash patients most of his patients are poor so dash does not charge much money dash daughter his daughter goes to school dash studies in fifth standard she studies in fifth standard dash teachers her teachers love her very much her friends are also very good they always encourage her they have given her good advice her mother is also a teacher she always encourages her to keep study i also like her as she often comes to my house one day she told my mother that she wants to learn cooking my mother taught her cooking now she cooks well all right okay children moving on to c section fill in the gaps with appropriate pronouns okay? okay dash is an excellent opportunity it is an excellent opportunity dash of these two students can solve this question one of these two students can solve this question third one dash books have been written by a great indian writer these books have been written by a great indian writer fourth one dash have come to know the truth they have come to know the truth fifth one dash of the students have passed the exam most of the students have passed the exam sixth one dash of your friends can guide you one of your friends can guide you seventh one dash is your story based on your real life this is your story based on your real life eighth one all your friends will guide dash all your friends will guide you ninth one dash of his family members would come to visit you one of his family members would come to visit you tenth one dash of those books will be helpful to you some of those books will be helpful to you eleventh one dash is your bag you can take it any time it is your bag you can take it any time twelfth one he dash is responsible for the downfall of his life he himself is responsible for the downfall of his life fine children okay next one d section join the sentences using relative pronoun adha join pannum fine i have a book it is written by rabindranath tagore i have a book which is written by rabindranath tagore appo which one the connecting word second one kavita is my teacher she teaches us english kavita is my teacher who teaches us english here who is a connecting word adha the relative pronoun third one this is varun his father is an architect this is varun whose father is an architect here whose is the relative pronoun fourth one she invited most of her friends they attended the party she invited most of her friends who attended the party who is the relative pronoun fifth one give me a pen to write a letter it was gifted to you on your birthday so give me the pen which was given to you on your birthday to write a letter okay which sixth one i have sold the house it was located at the bank of the river so answer is i have sold the house which was located at the bank of a river so which is the relative pronoun seventh one here is your watch 
it has been found in the garden here is your watch which has been found in the garden fine children okay so now moving on to reported speech there are two main types of speech direct speech and indirect speech or reported speech direct speech repeats the exact words the person used or how we remember their words reported speech is how we represent the speech of other people or what we ourselves say so reported speech theriyilla inge irundhu kete anga sonnal appo direct ah solradhu per direct speech indirect naga adu kete anga solradhu e section c read the different forms of verbs where they remain the same in the direct and indirect speech in the following cases fill in the blanks with missing indirect speech first one if the reporting verb is in present tense present tense la irundhuchnaaka same ah da irukku for example i am enjoying my holiday krish says that he is enjoying his holiday see here i will never go to work kavi says that she will never go to work second one when we report a universal truth something that is always true so universal truth to maradu for example asia is the largest continent balu said that asia is the largest continent people in africa are starving people in so you can tell alisha said that people in africa are starving third one with modal verbs would might could should ought to used to will also not change for example shalini is telling i might come so shalini said that she might come so ipo vinod enna solvanga i would try it so vinod said that he would try it edavad matam vanduda varla liya now with would rather had better so here see chitti is telling i would rather fly so chitti chitti said that he would rather fly now sophia says they had better go sophia said that she had better gone all right fifth one in if clauses and time clauses if i tied it in my room my dad would be happy sriram said that if he tidied his room his dad would be happy when i was staying in madurai i met my best friend so jahir says when jafer said that when he was staying in madurai he met his his best friend okay sixth one see we do not usually change the modal verbs must and needn't but must can become had to or would have to and needn't can become didn't didn't have to or wouldn't have to if we want to express an obligation would or wouldn't have to or used to talk about future obligations for example now she is telling i must wash up she said that she must wash up or she had to wash up now he says we must do it in june he said that they must do it in june or he said that they had to do it in june okay children now f section you see read the following dialogue and report it now johnson sugandhi they both are talking johnson says what are you doing here sugandhi i haven't seen you since june sugandhi says i have just come back from my holiday in uti johnson's did you enjoy it sugandhi i love uti and the people were so friendly now johnson says did you go to cocus walk sugandhi it was my first trip i can show you some pictures are you doing anything tomorrow now johnson's i must arrange a couple of things but i am free tonight sugandhi you might come to my place at what time shall we meet johnson i'll be there at 8 is it all right now we are going to report it okay Johnson asked Sugandhi what she was doing and she said that he had not seen her since June Sugandhi explained that she had just come back from her holiday in Uti Johnson wondered if she enjoyed it Sugandhi told him that she loved Uti and that the people were so friendly Johnson wanted to know if she had gone to Cocker's Walk Sugandhi said that it had been her first trip 
and that she could show some pictures and then she asked him if she was doing anything next day johnson explained that he must arrange a couple of things but he added that he was free at night suganti suggested that he might come to her place and asked him at what time they should meet johnson said he would be there at eight and finally he asked if it was all right okay children now g section tick the right choice it means indirect speech you have direct speech and indirect speech you can write which is correct who took my english book so how will you write he was curious to know who your options are who took my english had taken his english book takes his english book has taken my english book okay so answer is he was curious to know who had taken his english book b option second one where does helen live jim wants to know where helen lived helen lives helen had lived does helen live so answer is jim wants to know where helen lives third one why do volcanoes erupt she wondered why volcanoes erupt volcanoes had erupted volcanoes erupted did volcanoes erupt so answer is she wondered why volcanoes erupt a option fourth one do you know why she is unhappy she asked me if dash unhappy it means i know why she is unhappy or you know why she was unhappy did i know why she was unhappy i knew why she was unhappy so the answer is he asked me if i know why she was unhappy fifth one how many photos you have got how many photos have you got he wants to know how many photos i had got photos you had got photos had i got photos i have got the answer is he wants to know how many photos i have got d option okay children so i hope all of you understood you can keep listening you can read many books you will understand better thank you